<laughs> you know how when you're watching a police pursuit on TV and you've got the eye in the sky helicopter following the action and it's a guy in a Daihatsu charade trying to outrun the cops and you say, why? Why did he even try with that? But what if he had a better car? What then? Well, let's find out. We have a Dodge Charger Pursuit, Hemi. It's the quickest police car around a road course per the Michigan State Police Department. And driving it, we have a guy who trains the police. The idea here is that, well, it's always stupid to try to outrun a cop, but is there a point where your car actually could do it? We're gonna move up the ladder from a Toyota IA <laughs> to a Volkswagen GTI with the performance pack to the Camaro SS1 LE, and finally we have a Ferrari 488 GTB, which, um, yes, that is quicker than a Charger. Unless you're Crockett and Tubbs, this is the quickest thing that you are going to find a cop driving under most circumstances. It's a Hemi Charger Pursuit, 370 horsepower. It's got heavy duty suspension, bigger brakes, upgraded cooling, and this one has all of the police fixings. You got your spotlights, your light bar, and most important, your intercom. Sir, put your pants back on. No, no, on. Gonna run your plate here. I guess that's how you do that. Here's how we're gonna do this. Each lap here at Carolina Motorsports Park is about 2.3 miles. We're gonna take a rolling start down the front straight. The lights are gonna go on, and we're gonna find out whether one lap is enough for me to make my escape, or not. Let's start with the obvious ones first. The Yaris, AKA the IA, is caught within three seconds. The Ferrari, meanwhile, is so far ahead after a lap that you have time to valet that sucker and walk away. The rich really do get away with everything. This car is the one most likely to actually be in this situation a Camaro. I can just picture the blue lights coming on in the rearview mirrors as the dulcet tones of Motley Crue pour through the stereo and the gentleman behind the wheel runs his hand through his luxuriant mane and says, I ain't going back. The Camaro isn't as far ahead as the Ferrari, but it still has a quarter mile lead after a lap, which is certainly enough to get over the line into Chickasaw County. So of the four cars that we have here today, this one's kind of the wild card, I think. It's got a lot less horsepower than the Charger, but I think it's a lot better in the corners. The Charger's kind of a big boat, and this thing just cuts. I suspect that I will pull away from him in the tight stuff, and he'll reel me in a little bit on the straights. If you could outrun a police Charger in a four-cylinder Volkswagen, well, that'll be impressive. We'll have learned something today. <laughs> The GTI, our wild card, puts up a small but certain lead over the Charger. Is it enough to make your escape? Maybe if you were lucky. So what did we learn today? We learned that even a little Volkswagen GTI can scamper away from a Charger pursuit given the right circumstances. But this is fantasy land where there's no other traffic, there's no helicopters, and most importantly, there's only one cop and he doesn't have a radio. So in the real world, it doesn't matter if you have a Yaris or a Ferrari. If you do what we did, you're getting some of these, you're getting the bracelets and you're going to jail. Sorry, I just had a little wrestler thing happen there, but the point is, don't do what we just did. For car and driver, I'm Mr. Dyer. I'm innocent, man. This car doesn't go faster than, than but 60. I'm exercising my constipational rights.